Hey y'all, welcome to Hippie Chick. We're cooking. It's just a flick of the wrist, so let's get started. Thank you all so much for watching my channel. If y'all are enjoying my videos, y'all please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the like button and the notification bell to be reminded of when I upload new videos. Y'all, today we are making mozzarella cheese sticks. And our ingredients are string cheese, a half a cup of buttermilk, one egg, just a pinch of your cayenne pepper, a half a cup of all-purpose flour, one cup of your seasoned panko breadcrumbs, a teaspoon of your zesty Italian seasoning. Okay, I have my oil over here and I have it already um, on so it can go ahead and start heating up. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on over to five. Okay, I had it on three. All right, so what we are going to do, you guys, is take our milk, our buttermilk, and we're going to pour in this one egg. And then we're going to add in, and I just kind of sprinkled that um, cayenne or red pepper into there, and I'm just going to take like a pinch of it, is all I want. Okay? So now we're just going to kind of just mix this up, like whisk it together. Now I only started off with a half a cup of this buttermilk, um, and if I need more, I will add um, a more to it. But I just didn't want to waste it because I know, you know, it depends on how many you're making, and um, and I'm only making, um, I'm not making the amount that the recipe called for. Okay, so we have that. We kind of move some of this off here. Okay, and now what we're going to do, put that there. Okay, this is our flour here. So now we're going to take our panko, uh, seasoned pankos. And now you can use um, plain if you like, but I just thought I'd go ahead and use the seasoned because this is what I have. And we're going to mix in the zesty Italian mix in here, okay? I'm just going to take this um, spoon here and just kind of mix it up in there. There you have it. Move this out the way now. All right. So now we have um, three dipping bowls that we're going to be dipping. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take my cheese ring. Now, um, I went on and opened these already just to save a little bit of time. Um, they come like this, and you just kind of open them up. Now, I think, y'all, I actually have never made these before, so I'm really excited about trying these. Now, um, I think it would have been better, I'm just saying right off the top of my head, if I could have frozen the cheese, stra the, um, the cheese straws right here. Um, I'm thinking the string cheese, I'm thinking it would have been better to do that. I did put them in the freezer a little bit before the video started, but they're not quite frozen. So, um, but I do think it would be better. I think it, uh, it wouldn't probably ooze as much. So I'm going to just take my knife and I'm just going to go down, down the center of these. Now y'all, my daughter love, 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 love mozzarella. Love them, love them. So she's going to be super excited about this. Okay, so, excuse me, just one minute. Okay. 
All right, y'all. So let's see um, what we got going, okay? Um, let me just turn this down just a little bit because I just don't want to overdo it. But I just hate to be waiting on it, you know, to heat up. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I went on and turned it on a little bit early. Okay, so we have our, um, our string cheese here. And what we're going to do, we are going to take one of these and we're just going to dip it in the buttermilk. And then we're going to dip it over into the flour. And then we're going to dip it back over into the buttermilk. And then we're going to dip it over into our breadcrumbs, our seasoned breadcrumbs. And I'm going to just see if I can put them on this plate as well, just to kind of get that. There we go. And I'm going to turn this on down to low. It's cause it's suggesting that we go ahead and um, go ahead and, uh, you know, coat them all first before we start frying. And um, it's not supposed to take too long, no. It's supposed to take about two minutes or so to actually fry these. So I'm curious to see if it's going to work. So I'm telling you, my daughter, oh, she just loved these. And, you know, to get them from Sonic, I think Sonic here where we have, you know, we don't have a lot of different restaurants and stuff, but Sonic, to me, um, has the best mozzarella sticks. And they are expensive. Oops. Supposed to go back over here, y'all. And then you ain't go over into the breadcrumbs. Getting to talking and not paying attention to what I'm doing. So how has everybody been? Seems like it's been a while since I made a video. I think my last video was, um, I believe it was the hot, hot wings. Yeah. Seems like it's been a minute, but um, I've been super, super busy, y'all. I've been thinking about y'all, and I knew I needed to get on here and do something. So I said, let me find something kind of quick and easy to do. Because um, I just have so much going on, but I want to um, still continue, um, you know, with my um, cooking channel. I want to be able to try and do everything. I know we can't do it all, y'all, but um, I can certainly try. That's my daughter. <laughs> I was letting her know that had I had started, um, or just pull this up a little bit closer to me, y'all. Let her know that I had started filming. She was helping me get set up and stuff. You know, she cleaned up the kitchen for me and, you know, put some dishes and stuff in the dishwasher. Um, and walked down my countertops and stuff. She did all that for me. And I went back in, of course, and I went back over it. But, um, she's, you know, helping me out, so I appreciate that. Cause she's really excited about what I'm cooking, so she didn't give me too much trouble about helping y'all. Take a few of these and just go ahead and dump them on over here into this buttermilk, y'all. Now, how many of y'all have ever made these before? Because I tell you, um, they they have a lot of recipes out there um, for making these, and I try to find something that would be a, be simple, you know, not too many ingredients, and um, you know that would be easy to do. So I just did that a couple times, y'all, because I don't like I I just like easy stuff, you know, something simple to do. But still, yet yeah, it's good. And not a thousand ingredients, you know? So. I was very um, mindful of that. But as y'all can see, this is pretty easy, right? And 
I really enjoy these. Yeah, my daughter be wanting them all the time, and I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, because they are so good. I'd be like, oh, I want some too, but they'd be too expensive, you know, and I'd be like, okay, I'll just let her get them, and you know, I get something else or whatever, but sometimes I do splurge on them and get them for myself. So I'm excited to be making them as well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this back on up to five because i got a few of them that I believe that can go in, in my skillet here. And um, I know when you're cooking with cast iron, y'all, cast iron, I think cast iron just make a huge difference in the way the food and stuff turns out when you use the cast iron. Um, it's just phenomenal. So... Um, that's why I wanted to use the cast iron. It didn't say necessary to use the cast iron, but I just I just think it would be better. So that's why I'm using my cast iron skillet. But y'all can use, you know, whatever uh, skillet you want. Because um, it'll be good too, but I do like the way that cast iron skillet cooks. I do like it. Oh, I still got one in here, y'all. Let's see if it's gonna heat it. It suggested, um, let's see, temperature of maybe about 350 degrees or whatever. I'm not going to, um, I don't, I do have a, a thermometer, but I'm not going to use that, y'all. Like I say, I like to do stuff simple. If it's going to take all that to do it, it's like, come on. I got something else I can be doing. I just make sure it's heated, you know, heated up enough. So that's why I went on took mine on five. Now, I don't know how y'all's um, stove tops and stuff cook, but on five, mine heats really nicely. Um, so um, I might turn it up just a little bit just because... You know, it says that it's going to cook in about two minutes. So, mm, no, they say you don't want to, you know, overcook it or whatever because it's easy to overcook it. So, this is, it's suggesting that when it starts to brown, that you go ahead and start taking them out. So, I'm going to try this and see, y'all. We're going to see. I actually um, have two recipes for this and I was looking at them and trying to decide which one I wanted and this one um it just seemed a lot more simpler so that's why I chose this recipe so I'm gonna go ahead and drop this little bit in here four of those And um, I changed up my, um, the amounts and stuff, the measurements for the um, ingredients and stuff. I told y'all, I when I'm looking at recipes and stuff, I look at it as to, you know, how to go about doing something or whatever. And then I make my changes. I don't test it out first, you know what I'm saying, to see how that turned out. Because just from my experience, a lot of times... The seasoning isn't on point for me because I tend to like a little bit more flavor. So I always change up my my um, measurements, y'all. I think I did this one wrong. Look at that. I'm just going to pull it off like this, y'all. So I don't have to touch it, but I'm going to have to put this one back in here. Okay. But they're looking good, y'all. Can y'all see them? Nicely coated. I'm concerned about all that cheese oozing out. I don't mind a little cheese oozing out because even when you buy them sometimes from the restaurants and stuff, it'd be a little cheese oozing. So I don't mind it as much, but I don't want all the cheese to come out <laughs> to where when you bite into it, there's nothing in there, you know? So, I'm going to see how this turns out. And I'll let you know. Now, um, as far as changes and stuff that I made 
to my ingredients, y'all. For example, this flour, it called for more flour. That's nothing. To me, a lot of times when you do that, um, when you go by, when you're dipping stuff or whatever, a lot of times, you know, you have extra flour left over. And to me, that's just kind of wasteful. So, and I know I've gotten down to about that much. But look how many more I have left. I only have about four more left. And to me, that's fine. So, to me, it, it, it's, it becomes wasteful. And I don't uh, want to do that, so. kind of getting off track about how I'm dipping but you see what I'm doing don't you I'm just going back it's no big deal y'all just go back and start again okay now I'm supposed to dip it going to do that if I would have it set up like I had it like you know one two three or whatever it would be better all right uh -oh. okay last two y'all Show y'all how much buttermilk I have left. Now, if I had put in a cup of buttermilk like the recipe said, then, you know, I would have had all that extra buttermilk. But I'm okay with just kind of moving it around or whatever and getting it coated like it needs to be coated. I'm okay with that and just, because to me it becomes so wasteful. Guess I didn't have to do all this on camera, huh? I could have showed you how I did them and came back with them finished, huh? I wasn't thinking about that. I'm sorry. Y'all probably like, I wish she'd hurry up. Okay. All right. Okay, this is my last one. All right, y'all. I'm move this on out the way. Okay. Alright, so if any of y'all want to go ahead and, um, and take that temperature of that oil, that is certainly fine. Um, um, the recipe suggested 350, so. I'm going to do this. I'm going to take this uh, and put this on this burner back here, just in case it is too hot. And once I put one in, I'll know if it's too hot or not. I'm going to start back here since those, these were done kind of first. See that? That's good. Okay. Now, it's suggesting two minutes now. I'm going to try this thing. I'm trying to say two minutes. Timer, two minutes. But um, it's not covering the entire thing. Okay. Oh my goodness. Y'all, I pray I was recording. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I may have to just, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to know until after I finish and look at the footage and stuff, y'all. But I got a feeling it didn't record. 
So I guess I'm going to have to tell you what I did. All right. So. Okay, I'm making a mozzarella cheese stick. And I used a half a cup of buttermilk, uh, a pinch of the red cayenne pepper. Um, cayenne pepper. I use seasoned breadcrumbs. And I use zesty Italian, um, little packet of zesty Italian um, salad dressing mix. Okay? And I use flour. I use a half a cup of flour, half a cup of the buttermilk, a one egg, like I said, a pinch of the cayenne, okay? And of course, our string cheese. And I took them and I cut them in half and I took the mixture, the, um, the flour, the egg, no, wait. I put the flour together in with the egg and the, um, I'm sorry, the milk. I put the milk the egg together in with that cayenne pepper. Okay? That's what I did. And I stirred it up, mixed it up real good, y'all. And then I was able to take each one of them and dump them into that mixture and then into the flour and then back into the mixture with the buttermilk and the egg and the, um, the cayenne pepper. And then I rolled them over into the pancos. Okay? And I did all of them like that. And then I, I'm frying them, okay? I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm trying to do this and talk to y'all too because I, I hope and pray that I still have what I need. But when I went to look at that, something just told me to go look at it. It uh, didn't have the record up there. So I want to check on it. See, these don't start coming out, but that's because I was talking and trying to, you know, tell you guys what I had done. I'm sorry about that. But, yeah. Oh, yes, these are going to be delicious. Yeah, I got to talking. I'm sorry about that, but I just... It kind of threw me off when I when it wasn't recording, so I apologize for that. So that's the only reason why these few here are coming out that way is because I got sidetracked. But other than that, it would have been fine, y'all. I might have to just I don't know, I might have to scratch this video, y'all. I don't know, I have to look and see. But I hate that. You know, when you put all your time and effort into something and then it doesn't come out like it's supposed to, you know, that that bothers me because I don't I don't like to waste my time because I'm super busy. And so when I put my efforts into something, I try and do it, you know, right or whatever. But um hey, I'm not gonna beat myself up too bad. I'm gonna try not to, y'all. But And this is the last one here. All right. These are looking good, y'all. Again, my apologies. I hope to pray that I got the footage because if I got the footage, then, you know, it'll be okay. Maybe I can edit some of this out. But I'm not going to edit out the results, y'all. Okay. I got this to just put on. Okay. So I'm going to take them and put them on this plate here.
There we go. All right, y'all. Let me just put this back here. All right. So here we go, y'all. Our mozzarella cheese sticks. Okay, now I'm going to go with this one. Okay. Hmm. I'll do this one. Since it's still a little hot too. Okay, y'all. Y'all ready? I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell the truth now. I'm gonna blow it. Y'all know it's hot. Oh my god. Oh, mmm, 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 mmm. It's good, y'all. <clears throat> It tastes like Sonic. Mmm. 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 This is good. Mmm. I'm sorry. Let me eat this last piece. Mmm. Mmm. Walk the hand. Y'all, this is so good. I'm so happy. They didn't look like the way I wanted to look just because I kind of got caught up work with my recording and stuff. But they still look good. They're good. Y'all, I'm so happy. My baby's going to be happy. All right. Thank you all for watching my videos. If y'all are enjoying my videos. Y'all please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the like button and the notification bell to be reminded of when I upload new videos. Thank you all so much and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.